You gonna spring in the Deutsch over here? Spring in the Deutsch? Yes. Ramen? 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 But I need to look and see what doubles I have. I'm gonna get schmoss. <laughs> so my cousin in Germany sent me ramen that I ate when I lived there in my dorm and I'm like, I have to ration it because it's special ramen, you know what I'm saying? My brother coming in here like, I want some of that German ramen. Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have a review, a review. I'm so excited. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm so happy I was able to say it correctly. I got mine at Ulta. This retails for $8 and apparently this is a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas primer you guys i'm so excited this primer is amazing i haven't been wearing it the past couple days and i noticed a huge difference in my foundation so apparently this is supposed to be a dupe for it so let's see how it compares also i'm super excited because i have the juno and co microfiber velvet sponge i got mine at riley rose i didn't know they sold these in store i was in checkout and i saw on the um little tvs that they have in there showing other youtubers videos um that they had this so and i just did this in a haul video not sure if the haul video is going to go before or after this but i did do a haul of this and i was like oh my gosh snatch that real quick so we're going to try this out as well i'm going to be testing out this primer with my normal foundation combination a lot of you guys have been asking me on instagram and on youtube what foundation i've been wearing and it's the foundation that i was wearing in my comeback video it's a combination of these two foundations, the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous Foundation and the uh, Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. So these are the two foundations that I mix together to kind of create my full coverage whatevers. And I got another couple new things to try out. I've got these L'Oreal liquid, I don't know if they're liquid lipsticks or what they are, but I have them in two different colors. So we'll see what kind of look I come up with. But here is the Tatcha Primer. It is a interesting texture. I don't really know how to describe it, but how I do it is I see people like dig their nail in, but I literally go like that. There's not much product on my fingers and I have a zit right here and I know this doesn't break me out. So I'm gonna do the Tatcha Primer on this side and I get super oily right here in my nose crease. So that's where I'm going that's where I focus the primer and then my chin and I've been wearing this in like all just like in this region kind of in the pores but like that's where I get really oily and that's where my foundation breaks up it's gonna be kind of hard to do half of my <laughs> but yeah this hasn't been breaking me out at all so there is that on this side it has a little bit of a sweet fragrance to it, but again, haven't noticed it breaking me out whatsoever. This is $8. Like I said, got mine at Ulta, and it's been sold out everywhere. I saw it, and I snatched it up real quick. So this, and this is huge. So this is the $20 version. Um, Tatcha just came out with a very tiny version. So this is the big one. Oh, this thing is massive. Okay, so far it does not feel the same, but that primer had kind of the same consistency until I started working with it, but it doesn't really have a smell. I've heard people say it smells chemically, but I might have to just dig my finger in. Oh. It feels about the same but this has already like soaked into my skin I kind of did a little more on this side so I think I'm gonna add more Tatcha to the other side here they feel about the same this one just feels a little bit stiffer on first impression Tatcha and then elf on that side so like i said i go ahead and just mix both of these on my little spatula that i got on amazon so it really depends i'm still trying to find like my perfect 
shade match, but I do one pump of this and two pumps of this, just because my skin is a little dry right now. And then I just mix it with my little spatula. One of them is too yellow though, and one is too pink, so kind of mix it. I'm a very neutral undertone. Sometimes I'm more yellow, sometimes I'm more pink. It really depends on the day. So I'll go ahead and just kind of do my normal And then I leave the remainder on here so let's go ahead and and I did get this damp and it got a little bit bigger but like it's holding the water but it's not so let's see oh wow this feels really nice it's definitely a lot more dense which I've heard people talk about but like, I really don't feel like it's soaking up any product at all. I'm noticing it's clinging a little bit. I don't know if it's because I'm dry or if that's because of the primer. That actually looks like pretty decent coverage. Now on the other side, I'm going to be using a Sigma brush. I'll use the Bake Kabuki, which is the F. 89 and it has like an angle to it if you can see that so I'll do that on the other side just picking up the remainder of the product I love these brushes I'm not joking you guys like they really pack a punch all right so far so good I'm not really noticing too much of a difference between the primed side like between both primers like I think that's pretty bomb for a drugstore not gonna lie about that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back I've really been enjoying just kind of playing with makeup I actually messed around with the hang in in Hawaii um, eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics that just came out so what do you guys think I kind of did something like I normally do but I really this year want to branch out and really try and do like other eyeshadow looks and stuff but I really wanted to try and I know I should I should wait but I really want to try this so my brother and his girlfriend got me a gift card to Riley Rose so I got this Besame Cosmetics bronzer this is the Peter Pan collection it's like the mermaid oops mermaid lagoon bronzer I mean come on now can we just magnetic closure this is plastic so I was hoping it'd be like I don't know metal or some kind of something this was an expensive bronzer not gonna lie about that but I had a gift card so it's fine treat yourself but I really want to just try this out it's a very light oh oh there's a lot of kickback okay this is the I think this is a Morphe brush but the writing is gone the R14 yeah Morphe R14 oh that is beautiful it's very light though okay mermaid come through come through I'm gonna go ahead and put the lip color on which one should I do probably the lighter one let's see this is a, in the color I am power I don't know what these are I think they're a stain or something don't know I should have read the thing but it's like a really wet feeling it's definitely showing up a lot more peach on camera but I think I'm gonna go in with the darker one this one's in I explore wait this one's called I explore too oh I am power I explore Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I love that. Got this neutral look going. My eye is twitching. Do you see it twitching? Why is it twitching? But this actually dried matte, and I like this a lot better than like a liquid lipstick because I don't feel like I have something super heavy on my lips at all. But I'm kind of impressed with this look, 
can we just you guys my skin is looking amazing i definitely have in the back of my mind i'm going to be doing you know i have it in the back of my head like girl you need to film a skincare routine and i will it's just kind of crazy that um i'll give you a little sneak peek something i'd used in the past that stopped working is working again so kind of crazy well i mean it's the same brand. well you guys will just see but that is definitely coming so don't worry about that but i'm gonna go ahead and check in throughout the day to show you guys how this primer is holding up the time is currently 3 13. i got ready a little late i worked this morning and then you know now i'm filming and stuff like that so it will be it'll be good it'll be gucci so but yeah i'm really happy with how this eyeshadow look turned out what do you guys Think. I need to do more like eyeshadow tutorials but I feel like I feel it's it's very intimidating I just it's like Nikki tutorials is like the queen of doing eyeshadow tutorials and it's just like the angle and like all the stuff I don't know I'm intimidated by it let me know what you guys think <laughs> yeah so I'll film throughout the day how this is going so Tatcha on this side elf on this side and I went ahead and did everything the same set my face with slay all day did everything like I normally would doing to give everything a fair chance so yeah, I'm excited. So let's go ahead and go throughout the day and see how this e.l.f. primer wears. Okay, so what side did you think was Tatcha? And what side did you think was e.l.f.? So you thought this side was Tatcha and this side was e.l.f. Yep, that was my initial mm -hmm. guess. But it's the other way around. Look, this side's getting oilier and this is the Tatcha side. And this side's the e.l.f. side. Can you tell on camera? <laughs> Gotta be my cameraman. Come on now. Can you tell? Oh, the bathroom light might be better. Mm -hmm. Now it is currently 6.15, so it's been three hours actually, because I stopped recording at 3.13. So, kind of crazy. I just hope this doesn't break me out though. That's what I'm concerned about. Mm -hmm. So, it's 8.30. Can you tell? Can you tell the difference? This side's a little bit oilier than this side. I just want to know if it breaks me out or not. Yeah, this side looks better. The time is currently 10.20 and you guys, my foundation has not lasted this long. It's like amazing. The Tatcha Primer always holds up for me like super super well but the elf primer you guys i think this is a dupe this is very comparable i am so shocked with just how great my foundation is looking with both of the primers honestly i feel like the elf one is doing a little bit better i might wear the elf one all over my face as well but this is side by side comparison i'm really really happy with this primer, you guys, definitely check it. I heard like, I don't know, different reviews and things about it, but like, eight dollar dupe. Mm, where you at? <laughs> All right, so I had mentioned that I would try out the e.l.f. Putty Primer on its own with my normal foundation. And I've had this foundation on since about 12 o'clock and the time is currently five. And it is not looking very shiny at all. It's looking pretty decent, actually. Um, my foundation went on like so, so smooth. I'm just grabbing a mirror here so I can see what it looks like up close. I mean, I'm getting oily around my nose here, which is where I normally get really oily. But the rest of my foundation and everything looks absolutely flawless so I'm definitely surprised with this primer now the last time I wore it on the side of the face which was this side that I wore the foundation primer on I did end up getting some pustules down here so I'm seeing if this is gonna break me out or not this foundation primer you guys I think is almost better than the Tatcha one if it doesn't end up breaking you out it's pretty comparable this is like I said eight dollars compared to the 52 or the 20 that you end up spending for the smaller one so definitely check out this primer and i definitely would recommend it for people who are oily because my goodness my foundation looks flawless right now so thank you guys so much for watching this review 
definitely check out those products. Follow me on Instagram at Shrey Ninzi. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.